past he's done that just because he has mercy on me, not because it's his way. But you hear me right now. When I started doing this and cast it on him and quit putting time limits on him and quit telling him how to do it and what he needed to do about it and all that, I just give it to him. I'll be, I, I, I've been riding along or sitting around or just whatever, not even thinking about the problem. And all of a sudden he'll say, do this, 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 this. And I, and, I, and I go, okay. And then I get to thinking about it. Do this, this, this. Wow, this fixes that. This fixes that. This fixes that. And I would have never thought to ask him to do this or do this or do it like this. And this is so much better than how I would have fixed that. And I, I, this is phenomenal. I couldn't even imagine doing it like this. And it happens like that all the time. But aren't we supposed to ask? You can do that if you want to. It's in the book. You're welcome to. I got a better way. Because I, I ain't smart enough to know what to ask. Because the Bible says I have this infirmity. I don't know what to pray for as I ought. So since I accept I don't know what to pray for as I ought. I just give it all to God and let Him do the praying. And if I really need to pray about it, you know how I pray? I pray in tongues. Because that's God doing the praying. He always prays for the will of God. But you don't know what you're saying. Right! I don't know what I'm saying. And I don't know what I'm praying. And therefore, He can pray through me for stuff in faith that I couldn't believe for in my own mind. If I knew what I was asking for, I might not have enough faith to believe it. But when I let the Spirit pray through me, and He prays for something, He's using His own faith through me, and He never fears not being able to do it Himself. I'm talking about walking the Spirit here. And I'm not talking about being in church and going, Ooh, I feel something. I'm going to call somebody out here and read their mail. If that's what spiritual ministry is to you, you have a warped view of everything. Can God do that? Yeah, but that's not what it's all about. This is life. This is daily life. This is walking in the Spirit every day. This is living in the Spirit. This is you and Jesus in partnership 24-7. Yeah. So, be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. You know what my requests are? Take this. Now, you can request what you want, but this is my request. Take this. And I got Bible to prove that's what my request should be. Cast all your care. So this is my request. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this. Take this, take this. I have a bachelor of science degree in engineering with a major in applied engineering mathematics from the United States Naval Academy, and that proves I'm smart enough to know I'm not smart enough. That God is smarter than me. And so the most important thing that I have learned in my walk with God is the smartest person in the world doesn't know the most important piece of information there is to know. You know what that is? They don't know what's about to happen. So if you're going to make your own decisions, you're going to base that decision on very incomplete information. Because I don't know what's going to happen in the next two minutes. I don't know what's going to happen in the next 15 minutes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the future. So how can I tell God anything? How can I fix anything? I don't know the future. Oh, but I'm not alone. There's somebody that does know the future. And rather than me trying to solve problems and fix things with my very severely limited information because I don't know the future, I can just give it to the one who knows all of that. 
and let him fix it. Which do you prefer? Well, don't sit there and say, oh, sister, you okay? Okay. Which do you prefer? Do you prefer worry and fretting and trying to solve all your problems? Or do you prefer peace and joy and you and Jesus having a good time? Which do you prefer? Now listen, listen, listen. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God. Next verse. When you do this, you cast all that care. The peace of God, which the Greek word is surpasses or is superior to. That's what the Greek word means. The peace of God which passeth, it surpasses it is superior to all what? In other words, if you think you need to have the answer to the question why, you're wrong. Even if God's explained everything to you in detail, it wouldn't fix anything. But you know what you need? Peace. Because peace is superior to understanding. Peace surpasses understanding. Woo! Praise God. I feel good. Holy Ghost is in this place. My, my, my. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Peace is superior to understanding. So you know what our problem is? When you don't really have peace, you know what our relationship is with God? Now, Lord, I want to know why this, and I want to know why that. And if you really love me, God. So you can tell a person that's, that's not really spiritual. Because their walk with God is all about testing God and making Him prove Himself over and over and over again. If you really love me, God, you'd tell me this. And if you really love me, God, you'd do this. And if you really love me, God, you'd do this. But if God were saying to you, if you really love me, you do this. If you really love me, you do that. You would be offended. And you know you would. Would you appreciate God's head, voice in your head 24-7 saying, if you really love me, you wouldn't sit there like that. If you really love me, you wouldn't grin like that. If you really, if you really love me, you'd go up to the pinnacle of the temple and throw yourself off. If you really loved me, you'd turn this stone into bread. If you really loved me, you'd bow down. The same voice. It's the same voice. You know the voice that said to Jesus in the wilderness, turn the stone into bread, cast yourself off the pinnacle temple, bow down and worship me, I'll give you all these kingdoms. It's, that's the same voice that says, if you really love me. And the peace of God which is superior to, surpasses all understanding, shall keep, look at it, look at it, keep, Greek word is guard, preserve, protect, your what? Your hearts and minds. you have any idea how many apostolics there are in the world with heart trouble and mental issues Oh, there's people on medication because their nerves are a wreck. Supposed to be baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost. But they're on medication because their nerves are a wreck. You, you, you know the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life? An apostolic who needs to take something so they can sleep. Oh, I had a feeling there were a few of you here. Well, I just can't sleep, brother, right? If I don't take something to go to sleep, I can't get any sleep. Really, I wonder what the problem is. Oh, well, the doctor says. I could care less what the doctor says. How about what Jesus says? The Bible says the Lord gives His beloved sleep. If you're not sleeping, you're not casting. You're not sleeping 
because you're holding 